Hi guys. Happy Christmas. It's Christmas Day. I hope you get what you ask for. This is a Poundland update. These are all brand new sealed Blu-rays that I got from Poundland on Christmas Eve. 31 titles in total, so I'll try and get them through as quick as possible. First up is The Dark Knight. Now, I've never seen this packaging version before. I've got this film, but it's on like a... It's got the Joker, but he's in the background walking towards the camera. I haven't got this one, but it's a white background. I'm a close-up of the Joker. Don't know what's different, so it's just the artwork. The film's exactly the same. It's just the same back, I think. It's got tons of special features. You look in there. It's got tons of special features. I think they're the same on all versions. It's got a UV code. I'm sure that's out of date by now. 153 minutes. There's 2012 packaging. Like I said, I've never seen this version before. So let me know if it's if it's different or it's rare or what. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know to keep this myself or stick it on eBay. Because I've bought multiple copies of these. And they'll be going on eBay. A few of these will be going to my own collection. But most will be going on eBay. Next up is The Dark Knight Rises. I'm sorry about the blooming the light on the blooming camera. Pain in the neck. Again, this is another Warner Brothers Ultraviolet Code. Three hours of bonus features. Oh, the, the UV code is well out of date. Look, that's 2014, so I won't bother with that. 164 minutes. Poundland are getting some good titles in, and these are not these are not second hand. These are brand new. Quid. You know, you go to HMV. These are like some of these on HMV. The cheap, what the cheapest you can get them, are five to thirty pounds. But these are a pound each. This one, Tom Cruise's latest Mission Impossible film, Rogue Nation. Six months ago, this was in Tesco's for 18 quid. And it's down to five for 30 pound in HMV now. But this is a pound, brand new, factory field, factory field, um, factory, uh, <coughs> pardon me, factory sealed. Look, nothing. Not been opened. Brand new from Paramount. It's not a copy. I got this, so that'll be going on the eBay shop. They've even got brand new factory sealed Disney films now. This is number 44. Home on the Range. This will be going in my collection because I haven't got it. I have got other versions of this one. It will be going on eBay. This one itself will be going on my own. Next up is another Disney film, Monsters Inc. Again, a factory sealed, brand new. This will be going in my own collection, not on eBay. Disney Blu ray. Uh, special features, Blu-ray only special features. I'm sorry about the bloody light. Don't know why the blooming camera light's on. Never use the on. It's region free. Again, Disney again. Next up is the Monsters Inc. sequel, Monsters University. Brand new, factory sealed, Disney in Poundland for a pound. A 
another pound Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray and DVD double play of Tinker Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy, starring Colin Firth, Tom Hardy, John Hurt, R.I.P. Toby Jones, Mark Strong, Benedict Cumberbatch of Sherlock. Great British spy thriller. Throwback to the sixties. Can't wait to watch this. This is this is not in my collection, so I will be having this. Again, it's a pound. Next up is Ted. Uncut version, this is the extended edition. When it says digital copy and ultraviolet, I take it most of these will be out of date. It doesn't say there, does it say on the back? It doesn't tell you when it's out of date. Tell you on the bottom. Okay, I'm trying to see if it tells you if the ultra if the download version is out of date. That's the trouble see with streaming media. It goes out of date and then you can't reclaim it. Netflix have a film on for a year maybe and then when you want to watch it after a couple of years, it's gone. Your money's wasted. Turf shit. That's why physical media will always be best for me. Because you want to watch it after five years, ten years, it's, you've got it. If you've got a player to play it, you've got it. None of this streaming bollocks. The rights have run out, so you've lost your money. Stuff that. Next up is Sean Bean. Clean Skin. This is quite a violent fil a film where Sean Bean plays an assassin. It's a good film. It also stars Charlotte Rampling and James Fox. His license is To Kill, Full Stop. A Warner Brothers film. It's a UK film. Next up is a Daniel Craig in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Remake of the Swedish films. I've never seen this, so I can't tell you if it's any good or what it's about. Try and read this that without the blooming camera trying to the light trying to blooming in make sure you can't read it there we are you can read you can pause that you can read that I'm sure you can I can read it there from there Daniel Craig four hours of behind the scenes footage it's Columbia and MGM multi-region I'm Warning you, it contains strong sex and sexual violence. Daniel Craig. Next up is Sveser Stallone in Expendables 3. I think this one's got Stallone, Statham, Banderas, Lee, Snipes, Longren, Raymer, Cruz. A lot of ones I don't know. Davy, Ford, Schwarzenegger. Now, this one they try to mix new with old. Didn't work because we all want to watch these films for the old guys. You want to watch Schwarzenegger, Gibson, Stallone, Ford, Snipes and... Who's the other guy? Oh yeah. Chuck Norris. <coughs> you want to watch them kick ass. You don't want to watch Lee. He's thrown out of a plane. And then that's it. You don't see him again. 
What's the point of that? I just wish, I just wish Charles Bronson was still going so they could have had Charles Bronson in this because that would have been fucking amazing if Charles Bronson was in this kicking ass at fucking 100 years old. But Steven Seagal, why aren't you in it? Steven, stop doing these shit straight to DVD films and just do one great film and then retire I'm not sure if they're doing a fourth one or not I don't know this is the extended edition in other words it's the edition with the computerized blood just way over the top UV code yep the UV codes out of date two years out of date Next up again is The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. This is the 2010 version, two disc. Then there's Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. I've never seen any of these films, so I don't know what, how many, I think there's three of each, isn't there? Three Lord of the Rings, three of the Hobbit ones. But there's there's like five disc versions, there's two disc versions, there's one disc versions, there's count cover me a whole body disc versions. I don't know how many versions there are of these films. But this is the two disc version that's what? Two hundred minutes long. That'll do me. Next up is the original fame. I think this is by Alan Parker. Try and get with that bloody stupid glare. So can I get with that glare? I can't, I can't get. It. It's impossible to get rid of that bloody glare. Pain in the ass. Yeah, it's an Alan Parker film. This is not the TV show. This is the original film. Okay, the factory seal. Another Disney film with George Clooney. Tomorrowland, a world beyond. I picked this up. I paid. I think I paid fifteen pounds for this when it first came out on Blu-ray. Look at it now. Bloody quid from Poundland. Two thousand and fifteen. Disney. Exactly the same version I paid 15 quid for. Bastards. Next up is Mark Wahlberg and Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, in a Michael Bay film, Pain and Gain. With a bird on the front. I haven't seen this film, so I don't know what that represents. There they are, there, in their traditional white vests. Contains very strong language, strong violence, sex services, and drug use. A lot of these films in the old days would be classed as 18s, but they seem to show a lot more than our 15s now. When I was 15, they had Batman with Michael Keaton as a 15. And that's as violent as a Tom and Jerry cartoon. And now they've got these ultra violent, they've got these ultra violent films. That are only 15. That's why 15 year olds are more violent anymore because the certificate in this country has gone down. Next up, Luke Goss and Vinnie Jones, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, Blood Out. I've seen this film before. I'm not sure. I've, I've seen this film. I've tried looking for it in my personal collection, I can't find it, but I have seen this film. It's where his brother tries to leave a, a, a group gang and they kill him. And it's Luke Goss's revenge. I've bloody seen this. I can't find it anywhere. I don't know if it's under a different title or what. 